Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out our May optional bug fix C release updates for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And the updates are optional, so obviously you don't have to install the update if you don't want to. Unless you have this toggle turned on, then it will be downloaded and installed automatically. And the update for Windows 10 is exactly the same update I posted on about two weeks ago when it was still in preview, which is KB5037849, which is now rolled out to the stable release of Windows 10. And this update was made available late yesterday in my region on the 29th of May, 2024. Now, first of all, this is quite a minor bug fix update. There are no front-facing features, but it does fix nine bugs. So if you missed my previous video, um, then just a quick recap. Now, there are two highlights that Microsoft has listed. Um, the update addresses an issue that displays a hidden window. Apparently, its title bar has no content yeah, at the top of that hidden window and no client area. This occurs when you share your screen using certain apps. So that's one of those little um, issues that can be annoying that has been addressed. And the update addresses an issue that affects the share button on USB controllers. It might not work with Game Bar. So those are the two key highlights. And then because this is a non-security update, it will include a couple of other quality improvements. And there are seven quality improvements, and I'm just going to mention three which I thought you may be interested in because the rest are more under the hood for IT admins in organizations and enterprises. The update addresses an issue that affects a Microsoft Entra ID account. Devices apparently couldn't authenticate a second one. It also addresses an issue that affects a Windows Presentation Foundation WPF app. Apparently that stopped responding. And we have another printer fix. The update addresses an issue that affects an RPP over USB printer. Apparently after you deleted it, it still appeared and was not available in control panel. And I do find with these optional updates, the bug fix updates that Microsoft is addressing printer issues in both Windows 10 and Windows 11 almost on a month to month basis. And over and above that, it also makes quality improvements to the servicing stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates and that's it, guys. That's more or less what's new with this May optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10. As mentioned, there are no front-facing features, but Microsoft did release this Windows Spotlight for the desktop a couple of days ago, which brings this so-called Windows 11 feature to the OS. So if you would be interested, um, obviously this brings the Bing image of the day, and you can click on the, the icon on your desktop and switch that picture, like the picture, not a fan of this picture. And I'll leave the video on this in the end screen if you would be interested. And I think the reason there are no new features in this month's update is because of this um, feature that rolled out, the Windows Spotlight for the desktop that rolled out um, as part of a controlled server side update. So you may have seen it, you may have not, but I think most would have access to this feature now um, in most regions. Now, um, before we finish the video, um, just to double check what the build is, so we're going to head over to our search and enter Winver, which will take us to the About Windows dialog and menu. And Windows 10 22H2, the OS build has now been bumped up to 19045.4474. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.